Hello everyone, welcome to PP Maths. In the diagram, ABCD is a quadrilateral such that angle ABC is equals 135 degree and angle BCD is equals 120 degree. Moreover, it is given that AB is equals to root 3 centimeter, BC is equals 4 minus 2 root 2 centimeter, CD is equals 4 root 2 centimeter and the length of AD is equals to x. Then what would be the value of x square minus 4 times of x? This question is taken from Singapore Maths Olympiad 2011. To find solution, let's extend that line segment BC on either side of the equal. Let's L be the line which is extended on either side of the BC. Now we have to mark a point E on that line segment L such a way that AE is perpendicular to that line segment L. Similarly, on the other side, let's mark a point F such that DF is also perpendicular to that line segment L. Now let's concentrate on right triangle AB. Here it is given that angle ABC is equals 135 degree. Then the value of angle ABE is equals 45 degree and also the value of angle EAB is also going to be 45 degree. Now AEB is an isosceles right angled triangle. Means here we have AE is equals to EB. Let's find out the values of AE and EB with the help of Pythagoras theorem. With the help of Pythagoras theorem, we can write AB square is equals AE square plus EB square. Since AE and EB are equal to each other, we can write that 2 root 3 whole square is equals 2 times of a e square which is equals to 6 equals a e square then a e is equals square root of 6 so the length values of a e and e b is equals to root 6 now in another right angle triangle d f c angle c is equals to 60 degree because Angle DCB is equals to 120 degree. Let's use trigonometry to find the lengths of CF and DF. Let's use cos theta here. So cos 6 degree is equals CF by CD. So half is equals CF by 4 root 2. So the length of CF is equals to 2 root 2 centimeter. Let's find the length of df now. Let's use sin theta here. Sin 6 degree is equals df by cd. Then root 3 by 2 is equals df by 4 root 2. So the length of df is equals now 2 root 6 centimeter. Now let's calculate the entire line segment value of ef. ef is equals eb plus pc plus cf which is equals to root 6 plus 4 minus 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 so the length of ef is going to be 4 plus root 6 here minus 2 root 2 and plus 2 root 2 eliminates so the length of ef is 4 plus root 6. Now on the line segment DF we have to mark a point G such that AG is parallel to EF that is AG EF is a rectangle. Now we know that in a rectangle opposite sides are equal to each other. So AG is equals EF is equals 4 plus root 6 centimeter. Then 
let's calculate dg dg is equals df minus gf gf is the opposite side of a so df minus in the place of gf we can write a e which is equals to 2 root 6 minus root 6 so the length of dg is now root 6 now agd is a right angled triangle right angled at g here also again use pythagoras theorem to find the length of ad with the help of pythagoras theorem we can write that ad is equals ag square plus dg square the length of ag is 4 plus root 6 so 4 plus root 6 whole square plus root 6 whole square by simplification we found that the value of x is equals square root of 28 plus 8 root 6 which is equals to 2 plus 2 root 6 that is the length of ad which is equals to x but here we need to find out the value of x square minus 4 times of x so 2 plus 2 root 6 whole square minus 4 times of 2 plus 2 root 6 by expanding that we can write 2 square plus 2 root 6 whole square plus 2 times of 2 into 2 root 6 minus 8 minus 8 root 6 further simplification we can write 4 plus 4 times of 6 plus 8 root 6 minus 8 minus 8 root 6 plus 8 root 6 and minus 8 root 6 get cancelled then we have 4 plus 24 minus 8 which is equals to 28 minus 8 so the value of x square minus 4x is equals 20 centimeter that is the solution i hope you got this solution thank you for watching the video